So today I'm going to hook up an outside antenna source to the Texan PL660 and I've already got the long wire antenna hooked up and I've also had the opportunity to plug in the power source and begin charging the batteries up. The metal hydride batteries that I've had in this for about a week and a half they finally started to uh, lose power and as you can see it says right there that it's charging and you see the little dealy bop on the left side it is really charging so indeed you can uh, put rechargeable batteries in it and maintain them with the power cord so now let's go outside and have a look at my antenna source. So if you saw my review of this radio, I mentioned in there that I had at one time an old 1948 Hammerlin um, shortwave radio and that I had used this rain gutter in the front of my house as the antenna source. This gutter's got to be a good 80 to 100 feet long and I had simply tapped into this to use it uh, to connect it up to the Hammerlin and it worked really well. And that wire right there is where I tapped into the rain gutter to hook it up to the Hammerlin. And I had the Hammerlin right in this room here so I just simply ran it through the cable TV hole and as you can see the wire is still there from about 10 years ago. But I'm going to use a new shortwave radio just right inside my front door here. So it doesn't make any sense to run the wire all the way down to the end where connection point is at. So I just wanted to come up with the closest point right outside my front door to the rain gutter. And that's where I made my connection point right there. Just a simple little hole on a wood screw. And I've got my wire connected up to the rain gutter. And it comes in the corner of the door and the door is just off kilter enough that it gives me enough space for the wire to go through there and I've got it looped up here on that hook that was somebody had put there before I was here and then there's just a little hook over there and down to my radio. Okay it's going on two o'clock in the afternoon now sounds like a perfect time to cruise around on the Texan and see what we got on here. So let's go ahead and cruise through the the band. We're not hearing nothing on 2.5 as far as WWV or WWVH. Let's go up to 5 megahertz and I'm not hearing anything there. But we are on the rain gutter right now. So let's go up to 10 and we'll just wheel that the rest of the way. As I mentioned before, you can just see how easily this thing wheels and we went way too far. It wheels so easy. And there we go. And I'm not hearing anything on 10 now. I'm starting to get a little nervous. I did hear it before. Yeah, looks like 15 is going to be our only real hope. <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh, there it is. I just heard a tone. There's WWV there. You can hear the clock ticking. We'll wait and see if we can pick up. Hawaii, as well as Fort Collins. It did pick up really good earlier. I was picking it up on 5 megahertz earlier. Now it's, it's all shifted up to 15 megahertz. So maybe 20 will come in really good today. So let's get to our station identification. I can hear her.
Well, anyway, that's our top of the hour station identification. So I did hear for or Hawaii and Fort Collins there. So let's go up to 20 and see. Yeah, we've got to do some wheeling here. Go too fast, go right past it. There we go. We got 20 megahertz. So it seems like in about 12 hours, this will be picking up better at 2.5 and 5 megahertz and 10. Now let's wheel it all the way to 25. Really, I should have used my arrow keys, but we'll get there. This tuning knob feels really, really good. Yeah, it got quiet, didn't it? I got confused. I was watching the wrong number there. Yep, yeah, 25 is pretty quiet if they're even broadcasting on that. Hmm. Thought I heard it there for a minute on 25. I am. I'm hearing it on 25. That is the first time I've heard, heard them broadcasting on 25. Let's see what they say. Well, I couldn't hear the identification, top of the hour identification there. I didn't hear any speaking at all, so... Whoops! Not the whole camera over. Okay. And there we are, back down to 2.5, the bottom of the scale. So I will come back at about this time, about 12 hours from now, and we'll quickly listen and see what we got in the middle of the night at about 2 a.m. Okay, we're back. It is 3.13 in the morning the next day, and we're going to listen to the six frequencies that the National Institute of Standards and Technology Time broadcasts on. And we left off in the last video at 2.5, which is exactly where I'm at right now. And we heard absolutely nothing on there. And now it is coming in pretty loud and clear. We'll listen for the top of the minute, in which we'll get a quick little uh, broadcast of exactly what time it is. My clock is still a little bit off. Yep, my clock is off by probably about 10 or so seconds. Anyway, let's head up to 5 megahertz. I did hear right there at 2.5. I could barely hear Kauai, Hawaii. And clearly we heard uh, Fort Collins, a male voice. So let's listen again to see if we can hear both voices.
All right, there we heard it just a little bit more clearer. I thought we heard Kauai and Fort Collins. Now we'll head up to 10 megahertz and we're hearing a lot of noise. And we're not hearing any tones at all, so let's head up to 15. And again, not hearing any tones there. Let's head to 20. I gotta wheel this one for some reason. It won't stop exactly on 20. We'll be there in no time. And 20 is not behaving very well. So let's go to 25. We heard it on 25, which is kind of a rare thing. Yesterday, it's one of the frequency they use occasionally. Don't exactly know what they're doing there. But. And we're not hearing anything on 25. Anyway, let's go back to 2.5. Coming in ready nice. So, anyway, I'm just going to continue to fool around with this. Uh, play around with it whenever, you know, I feel like it. And uh, uh, we are on the uh, rain gutter antenna right now. And I will definitely like to experiment with some more antennas. Uh, probably will invest in some uh, antennas online. I really haven't even looked around or anything and, and just see what's out there. And, uh, but I'm most curious to, um, once the winter months come, to see what else I can hear. Uh, see how it's going to change. I think it's going to change a lot. And I definitely want to look for other channels and other stations. But right now, there just doesn't seem to be a lot out there. Uh, it is the 31st of July, 2019. So I've got several months to go before winter will start to set in. And it'll probably take more like um, mid-winter mid or so before uh, things change. I don't know for sure. So... I definitely will be back with more videos, especially when uh, I start hearing more stuff and uh, get another antenna source. If I do, I don't know. We'll have to wait and see, but that's it for now. Thanks so much for watching.